creativeguard.net and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create your very own breaking news theme in Sony Figures. So sit down, relax, have fun and good luck. So here we are in Sony Figures and let's create a new document. So go to File, New and choose the settings you shut your footage in. I shut my footage in 1080-24p so I'm gonna hit that. Now import your footage, drag this to the timeline, minimize this, and insert a new feature track. This is gonna be our title bar. Maximize this, go to media generators, pick a solid color, and make a bar out of it by clicking on event pen crop and dragging this to a decent size bar that's okay be sure you have checked off the um, the size about center and the lock aspect ratio now go to track motion and drag this to nearly the bottom of the screen and at this point we are going to make a slide effect so paste uh, so copy the y value control c go to five frames after the clip started so five times your right arrow key make a new keyframe go back to the first keyframe and drag this outside the screen paste your Y value and here we have our first bar and our first slide make a little fade in on the beginning by just dragging the blue corner to the middle just a little bit and here we have our first bar let's make our second bar so make a new video track maximize this insert a new solid color I choose red a little bit darker go to event pen crop make a smaller bar than the first one the title bar is going to be our description bar drag it underneath the title bar and go to track motion again and this will be our drop down bar so just get it right under the bottom of the black solid go six keyframes further make a new keyframe go another two frames further make another keyframe and drag this to the bottom of the screen another two keyframes further it will be just above the bottom of the screen so here we have our drop down effect now drag the clip to the first keyframe which is here and let's so go to the title bar and the description bar and make a fade out by just dragging the right blue corner to to the middle and also the corner of the red solid to the middle so what do we have now let's play it That looks good. So now we so now we make a name, the name of the person who we, 
who you're talking to. So go to your new video track, insert a new text media, enter the name of the person we are talking to, unball it. I choose Brevalia New. Go to the timeline to where the black solid is. and place it on your black bar. So here we go. Copy the Y. Control Z. Drag this to almost the end of the of the clip. Insert a new keyframe. Sorry. Insert a new keyframe and drag this to around here. Paste your Y. That's okay. And now by holding control, we drag this to the end of the of the black bar. Just before the fade out is starting. Now we have uh, wait, this will be when the black bar is fully appeared. Maybe a little fade in on the beginning. A little fade in. Okay, that's good. Now we are going to rename this. Call it name. Insert a new video track, and this will be our person description description there we go and insert a new text media and enter the the person's description Choose the same font, make it a little bit smaller, paste it on your red title bar, and this will make a slide to the right. So just before the end of the clip, new keyframe, copy your Y. Drag this to well something near here. Paste your Y and sorry. Paste your Y and here we have our third slide, our name slide. This will be the same process as the first name. So, holding down control and drag it the same size as the name. I wanted to start this a little bit later. Fade in. Make two fade outs. Fade out and fade out. And let's see what we have now. That looks perfect. Now we are going to make a 3D text effect. So insert a new feeder track and insert a new text media. Let's call it CCOW News. I'm going to make a little a little outline on it. Black. A little bit more. 
like this. I'm going to the properties and I'm going to change the leading a little bit so it's closer to each other. Close this and we're going to go to our compositing mode and we're going to choose 3D source alpha and this will make our text 3D. Go to track motion and here you see that you can actually create perspective into the text. Now go to somewhere near here. Drag this to the bottom of the screen. And go to the end of the clip. Almost the end of the clip, sorry. Create a new keyframe. And make a little 3D effect. So here we have our 3D effect for the name. Drag this to the end. And this will only start at the second keyframe. A little fade in and a little fade out. And here we have our 3D text. Now let's make a watermark. Minimize this. Create a new video track. Maximize it. Create a new text media. And make a nice watermark. This will be our my watermark. It's going to be at the right corner of the screen. Maybe a little bit of shadow effects. Shadow. Perfect. I'll close this and change the level to a transparent kind of effect. This will be our whole video. This will be on our whole video. And here we have our nice little news theme. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it and I see you around on creativecow.net.